He dropped right there. I'm very happy with that shot. Very happy with everything this morning. God bless me. That deer is wide. He only has one eyeball. Looks like he's been fighting. He's done gouged out his other one. I'll be checking on him here in just a second. Thank you, Lord, for this hunt, this kill. I've been hunting this one particular deer for a while now. He's very, very nocturnal. He'd only show up on camera throughout the year, only at night, and very, very few and far between on his appearances. It's one of those deals, you know he's there, you hope he'll show up, but there's no guarantee. Um, I've been hoping he'd show up in this one location this morning he did, he wasn't chasing doe, he was, I seen him, I seen a glimpse of something at the far end of one of my lanes, didn't know if it was a deer or squirrel on that tree, just saw a glimpse, and I paid attention to the next lane, and about five minutes later I see him walk out, it's probably, uh, 90 yard shot probably he had done got across most of the lane before I could even get my gun up on him in time I grunted with my mouth really loud to make him stop when he stopped you know he looked directly this way he only had one eyeball though it looks like he's been fighting or something or he might have another eyeball he might have both eyes one of them's damaged but when he stopped, his full body was behind a tree. I could just see a corner of his neck and his face. So I just held still. I waited until he made about two more steps. And I grunted really loud again. Again, he stopped. Everything, every part of his body was behind trees except for his full neck. And I, for one, love a neck shot because usually 99% of the time, they will drop right there, and I've killed a lot of deer with a neck shot. This was a 90-yard neck shot. It wasn't the farthest I've ever made, but I had to pick my shot, so I feel very, very proud. I'm very proud of my shot. The way I filmed this hunt without having somebody in the stand with me. And there goes a deer. The way I filmed this hunt is that I've got a little GoPro camera mounted to the side of my gun. It's an action camera, it's full 1080 high definition. Um, this is my first morning out with it, so I know I got the kill shot on camera. You be the judge of how it turned out. Here's the little GoPro. You see, I've got mine modified with a 25 millimeter lens. It's got all these different uh, adjustments so you can make sure you get it sighted in just with your where your scope's going. I made this composite piece. I molded the, the stock in the barrel of my gun. And I cast this this composite piece, the GoPro. It's got a, a sticky suction that mounts right to it, just perfect. So. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious.
This is the deer I've been after for quite a while. He's tremendous height, tremendous frame, tremendous width. Get him out there. He's he's a dandy. I'm very well pleased with this deer. Good Lord has blessed me. Shot him in the neck about 90 yards. Just look at the look at the size of this deer. Sometimes it just happens. And when it does, you just gotta bow your head and thank the good Lord. Because, I mean, 